Oh yeah, I remember when I first heard a resurrection band. I remember when I first picked up and held one of their albums for the first time, and I didn't know who they were. I didn't know anything about Christian rock. And I was a pastor's kid. I was in high school at the time. It was probably about 1982, 83, somewhere in there. Our family had just moved to Houston. My dad had accepted a call to serve as pastor at a congregation there. We hadn't been there very long, and I was starting to get to know the DCE there at the church, its director of Christian education, uh, a guy who was also named Tim. Uh, and then also a young man named Lester, who would become my future brother-in-law. Both Tim and Lester were the uh, counselors or directors of the youth group there. And so since I was in the youth group, getting involved in the youth group, um, I got to know them pretty well. One evening after a youth event of some sort, we were hanging around the youth room and the DCE showed me on one of the shelves in a corner of the room a collection of old records, vinyl, that he had there. And told me this was Christian music, Christian rock music. And he started to show me the albums, and there was albums like uh, Matthew Ward, Towards Eternity, Petra, Washes Whiter Than, uh, Larry Norman, In Another Land, a um, variety of different different bands and artists and he said these are these are Christian rock and I'd never heard of that before I didn't know Christian rock existed didn't know any of these artists what they were like so he started to play some samples of the albums for me and I don't remember anymore what he played that evening but I remember it did intrigue me I've got an older brother and when I was growing up in Minnesota, must have been about seven or eight years old, uh, he had a band. He and his friends had a band called The Next Exit. And they would practice in our basement at night, right around my bedtime. And so I would hear them. They, they would be loud. I would hear them. I'd complain to my mom. She'd have to go downstairs and say, can you guys turn it down a little? Um, but despite that uh, tra traumatic experience for a seven or eight-year-old, one thing I did really get out of that was they played a lot of Led Zeppelin. And I grew into loving Led Zeppelin, part, partly as a result of, I think, that uh, hearing Stairway to Heaven countless times uh, in the basement in Minnesota. So what's interesting about that is when I got home with that small stack of records from the DCE in Houston, the first album I put on was Resurrection Band's awaiting your reply, which, as I came to learn, was very, very Zeppelin-esque in its sound. I'll never forget putting that album on and hearing that DJ introduction and then that lead into the first song, Waves. It's just a classic introduction to what would become one of the greatest bands in Christian rock history. And the hits just keep on coming. This is Jolly Jonah Jameson, your DJ, kicking out the jams all day, all night on WBZR. That was the Archies with Sugar Sugar. Just makes you want to cry, don't it? Our thousand dollar winner will be announced two hours from now, so hang in there while we play some music by Resurrection Band. How'd this get in the stacks? Oh well, here's hoping. <laughs> And love so close at hand. I used to have the original copy of vinyl waiting to reply that the DC in Houston had, had given me all those many decades ago, uh, but lost it in a house fire about, a, about 10 years ago. And uh, I found this copy 
um, at a vinyl shop in Colorado just uh, two, three, four years ago, and it was still sealed. Um, which, you know, this album was from 1978. So to find a copy still sealed uh, is pretty, pretty amazing. The, the shrink wrap was torn in some places. It wasn't perfect, but um, it obviously had not been opened and had not been played. So I've ended up with a copy better than, than the one I had from the DCE anyway. So it's kind of, kind of rewarding to have it in such good condition uh, all these years later. And as a result, I've been listening to it again a lot more, which has taken me back in time to, to when I was a high schooler and first, first put this album on. It's, it's really pretty cool.